took your cash now. You need, you need anything, sir? What you need, sir? A blanket? There's a this is this is a blanket right here. underpass over here by Pratt and um, we've walked probably about a mile so far about a mile in it's been raining and guess what everybody who came who came out the walk said that they do not want to turn around because this is the real element in which a lot of people have to stay in these conditions so they just can't get up and go into the into their house and say it's raining they have to stay in the elements because this is where they are so we ran across this young man right here who didn't mind us filming and we just gave him some uh some some things took the jacket and the beautiful thing is i asked him did he need any other sweaters and guess what he said i just got a jacket so i'm straight so even though he's in these conditions he did not even take in more than what he actually need and that's a blessing man so i just want him to be able to explain a little bit about his situation and what he's doing out here and how you feel about us being able to come help out tell him who you are sir he's speaking in arabic Wow, I'm not sure what he's saying, but we'll get somebody to translate that. But we're just thankful to be able to help this young man, everybody who's coming out, man, and just giving back. We had so many supplies and still have a lot of supplies, but this is why we do it for individuals like this. We don't know what his circumstances are. We don't know what happened, but we know a lot of us are a slip up away from being in these conditions ourselves, all right? So we're just so thankful for him even taking the time, although he doesn't speak that much English, and he said, he told that to me, he said he speaks in Arabic. I'll try and listen to it. A little bit of English, go ahead. Uh, I respect and I appreciate this nation who are around me here. And I do feel it here according to my ambition to serve to my own land. To spread? Yes. And to mission. We need to a new room. This way. Condition. It, I mean, I don't know how to translate everything. But take the word to people who are around me. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to Mungisha Alemre. To Ethiopia. Wow. Um, Ethiopia. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. We appreciate it, man. This is what it's about, guys. This is what it's about, man. It's really what it's about, man. Wow. All the things that he's doing here. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Well, I'm glad that we were able to provide something for you. No problem. He did. Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Dominic. And, uh, I said Dominic. And you're always at this location? Yeah. Yeah, so 
they don't mind you guys here as long as you take care of it. Take care of it. Thank you. Thank you. So right now, man, we've been giving out the um, items to keep them warm, but there's some of them out here that want something to drink. I told them we had Powerade and Gatorade and stuff like that, as well as some chips. What about chips and stuff, y'all? Straight on chips. We just want to get something to get the juice, so we're going to get them some juice. We're going to get them some Powerade, guys. that you're affiliated with. We want to do that, man. H2H, those initials mean here to help. And that's what we are here doing, man. I can't even I can't even express the gratitude and the love for everyone who's affiliated with this organization, man. Even if you're not out here walking and you donated and you're a part of our family, we're so thankful and so appreciative, man. So thank you guys, man. The people that's out here, they are extremely appreciative, man. They are not just taking stuff just because we have it. They are actually letting us know that I have enough of that already. But thank you guys. So Every time, man, we do an event, H2H do an event, it's always very touching, very humbling experience, and we're just so thankful that the Most High is allowing us to be out here to do what we do, man. This is all God-given right here, y'all. All God-given, all right? Where you going? Yeah, man, you know, coming to you live, I am the son of the co-founder, Mr. Daryl Richardson, ATG Amari the Great, Mr. Watch Me Work, Mr. Real Hip Hop Only, whatever. So yeah, man, we definitely out here, man, for the youth. We, I just like, I like it. I like what we're doing out here a lot because we're giving the youth a different perspective. Like, we're bringing the young ones out here, and they might not know how real it is out here, like, for other people. Like, they may not, because they may be in a, a, a better position than a lot of people, they may not be able to fully grasp and understand the concept that people struggle with. You know what I mean? They struggle is a way lot different from my struggle than everybody else's. So, it's definitely big, and it's wonderful. So, I always give a big, a big shout out to my pops, and Rich, and everybody else for everything they're doing, you know what I mean, with, uh, with, uh, with H2H. So, yeah, man, it's definitely Beautiful. Uh, yeah, y'all go check out that mixtape. <laughs> I'm still out here at the underpass. See my homeboy Thoughts giving back, man. We've helped them see those blankets and throws that he have right there, all those toiletries that he have. That's what the people with the H2H have, have uh, provided. And Thoughts has been there 